It's finally happened, everybody. Dixie Carter is out of TNA Impact Wrestling. That's right. The She-Devil, the woman who replaced the likes of Jim Carnett and Dutch Mantel with the likes of Vince Russo and murdered the careers of many an athlete and caused the mass exodus of guys like AJ Styles, Samoa Joe, Eric Young, Bobby Roode, and countless others. That's right. She is finally, finally out of TNA. I would like to read to you verbatim this release from Anthem Sports and Entertainment Corporation. In Toronto, Canada, January 4th, 2017, Anthem Sports and Entertainment Corp. today announced that it has entered into a definitive agreement to acquire a majority interest in TNA Impact Wrestling and has formed Anthem Wrestling Exhibitions, LLC. Anthem owns Fight Network, the largest premier 24-7 multi-platinum channel dedicated to complete coverage of combat sports, which Impact Wrestling's exclusive broadcast partner in Canada and worldwide digital partner we have th- we are thrilled to have acquired tna impact wrestling says ed nordholm executive vice president of anthem sports and entertainment corporation the parents of the fight network as we grow anthem's linear digital and mobile platinums globally top tier content with global appeal is key to that success and this acquisition is a perfect strategic addition to our portfolio impact has been a dominant wrestling brand around the world for more than a decade and we are confident that anthem can leverage its assets and strategic partnerships to take impact wrestling to even greater greater heights well mr nordholm that is not saying much because the heights that, that it is at now is not saying much but mr nordholm you are a executive for a company that deals in combat sports so you should have some experience in delivering quality combat sports something that dixie carter never had any ability to do um i think that this is wonderful news for the likes of Matt and Jeff Hardy, um, Aaron Rex, EC3, Bobby Lashley, um, all these guys, Eddie Edwards, you know, Decay, Abyss, you know, all these people that have stuck with or have recently joined TNA as it has been looking more and more like a sinking ship. Um, I'm glad that these guys will continue, hopefully, to have jobs and be under the supervision of a group that actually has a strategic vision and a plan for the future and to become a actually competent wrestling organization. Um, if there's anybody to thank, it's Matt Hardy, who has actually made TNA look like something that was actually valuable for some capacity. Um, so I think that Matt Hardy has to be giving himself a good pat on the back for keeping TNA live alive for just long enough that they can actually be purchased by people that actually know what the hell they're doing. I think that this is an exciting moment for wrestling fans. Dixie Carter is no longer the in the position. In fact, Dixie Carter will resign from her position as chairman of Impact Ventures. Um, Impact Ventures, I'm sorry. Um, she will now be as part of the advisory board and be the person that they all say <clears throat> nope to. So... It's it's a good day for wrestling fans. I'm glad that I got to record this. I'm usually not a wrestling news guy, but you guys deserve to hear this. All right. I hope that that made you happy.